I greet you, friends, and may the Lord be with you. This week I've entitled our two devotions, Thanking God. Thanking God, part one and part two. And while uh, we are enjoined in Scripture to always thank God for everything, give thanks in all circumstances, there are times when it is appropriate and uh, wonderfully necessary and a great blessing to ponder the blessing of specific people in our lives and in the course of our lives. And so this week, of course, these devotions are for any and everyone that hears God's Word coming to us to bless us and to strengthen our faith and to deepen our walk with Jesus. But I've also kind of got two specific people in mind, two specific families in mind, and that's going to become evident as we move on. Today, the scripture that focuses our attention is Paul writing to the Philippian Christians. So Philippians chapter 1, verses 3 through 6, reads this. I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine for you all, making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And I am sure of this, that he who began a work, good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. I looked it up. Um, and the latest census kind of information that I could find says that it is likely that the average person will move, relocate home, life, etc., over 11 times in their lifetime. So how does that hit you? How many times? Being uh, raised in an Air Force family, I had uh, moved 11 times well before I even got into high school. So a bunch of times, and in ministry, serving in Iowa and, and Missouri prior to Texas, moving is, uh, is part of life. And so on the occasion of our church secretary, Trixie Bailey, and her husband Chuck, preparing to move to Virginia, move from New Braunfels, where they've made their home for more than 10 years, and moving away from her position and role of service to the Lord and His church here at Cross as our church secretary. Just taking the opportunity one more time to say to you, Trixie, thank you, and to encourage all who are hearing to join, as Paul says, in thanking God for the partnership in the gospel, for the way that we are blessed by God, brought together by God, to serve. And so we're thankful for that, thankful for the days, the weeks, the years that uh, Trixie served in her role here as our church secretary, the blessings that came to her and through her, especially for those of us with with the office life and ministry that are our day-to-day lives and responsibilities and duties made um, smoother, made more blessing. Uh, by the service and the skills and the spirit and the heart of Trixie, who served with us over uh, the last five and a half years. So just once again, uh, thank you and God's rich blessings to you. And uh, no better blessing can I give than something that's straight from the Word of God. This is Psalm 121, verses 7 and 8. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. And so, Trixie and Chuck, as you um, go out from New Braunfels and come into a new home, a new chapter, a new life, uh, we pray for God's rich blessings on you and pray that you will always know and believe, as I know you do, that the Lord is keeping you, is your strength and song, your helper through it all. And so thank you. I invite you to pray with me. Lord Jesus, we do thank you for the way you bring people in our, into our lives and the way you bless and use all of us to serve you. I ask your blessing on the Bailey family. I thank you for them. 
and pray that you would continue to strengthen, protect, and bless them as you unfold your will for them in this next season, this next chapter of life. And for we who remain here and continue to serve and grow and, and shine your light in this place, thank you for the blessings and the people that you bring to us to do that, to your glory and for the building of your kingdom. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. God's rich blessings to you. I look forward to being with you again in a devotion time later in the week. <laughs>